Yes. I know there's a deadline, yeah. I'm on it. <laughs> well, you know me. You know I love a conversion. Yeah. And thanks again. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Bye. 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 Hope you're not one of them builders who starts a job then slopes off to finish another one. Listen, Aiden, I know how important it is for you to get this place up and running, so no, I'm not. But to be honest with you, business is pretty good at the minute. You're lucky to get me back. Mm. So where's this conversion? Oh, it's this, uh, it's this mill. They're looking for a site manager, so... Anyway, if you've got a copy of that signed contract, we're all systems go. Windass. Yeah. Gary Windass. I'm his partner. You left, when? Oh, OK. All right, thanks very much. Bye. I think me and you need to have a little talk, don't you? Not really, no. All right, so you think you can just get in a strop? I'm going to give you my blessing. My daughter, the lap dancer. I don't really need your blessing. Can you just for one second think what it is you're doing? Mm, says the one whose boyfriend's got a baby on the way, but hey, no problem. He's not my boyfriend. What, so you're not thinking of getting back with him then? It's none of your business. <laughs> Unbelievable. I might as well go and start packing now. You, you're not going anywhere and you're certainly not going back to that club. Actually, I am. And you're just going to have to deal with it because you know what? I like it. Yeah, I like being a lap dancer. You know what? Mum, please. So when did this happen? Where? Oh, please don't tell me you take all your clothes. Mum, please, can you just let me deal with it? No, it's fine. I've heard enough. No, but flaunting yourself like that. Not listening. You flipping well are listening. Do you think it's all right, do you? To get a perfectly decent man beat to within an inch of his life? Decent? Do you know what? People make mistakes. We all make mistakes. I'm looking at you. You're my daughter, and I feel like you're a complete stranger. So you were new. <sighs> Is it back on? Oh, Mum, I don't know. I, d I don't know what to do about him or her. Yeah, well, forget about him. Your daughter's far more important. Just put this in the back and we can set off. Oh, my bags. They're already in there. Billy, this is mad. You can barely sit up, never mind go on the run. Todd would never have asked you to do this if he knew the extent of your injury. Yeah, look, nobody's going on the run. Todd and I just need to, you know, find a way to get Jolene off our backs and then keep Summer safe. And there is the small matter of the police force out looking for him. Aye, aye. What are you two off this time of day? Uh, I, I, I'm seeing a new physio on the other side of Manchester and he's worried about traffic. Oh, is that right? Well, uh, all the best. Thanks. <sighs> I hate all this lying, especially to Adam. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a choice, thanks to my flaming son. Difficult to know what to say. Yeah, I know. Hey, that Grayson bloke came in before. You know, the guy with Jack wanted to know if Luke could squeeze him in for an MOT. So I told him what had gone on. You know what he said? Well, can somebody else do it? No. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. He was a good bloke. He was a good man. We're going to have to get someone else, though. What? I know, but business won't stop coming in because Luke's not here. And we can't afford to turn that away because we're a man down. A man down? Oh, oh, yeah, um... He's not even in the ground yet, and you're already replacing him. I thought you were meant to be his friends. We were. I'm just being practical. No. Heartless is what you're being. And you're no better. Oh, you oh and don't even get me started on you. I would never have treated him the way you did. Never. <laughs> Oh, Aiden, look. This is the uh, this is the stuff I'm thinking about for the top tiles. Seb, can you please just phone me? Still vice me on. Blimey, what's happened to you? I got mugged. How's mum? How do you think? Where were you? In the hospital. I am so sorry. Well, it seems not only are they doing it for GBH, they're going to do it for ABH as well for uh, assaulting Ireland and escaping custody. What, did Phelan do that to you? Did you go after no, him? No, it wasn't him. I didn't know the guy, all right? Well, we've been ringing you. Hey, he's just said he's been mugged. My phone got smashed. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. OK, well, we can't get hold of Seb. You were supposed to be taking care of him and now he's gone missing. We've told her that he'll probably just be lying low. Yeah, but what if he's not? What if something's happened to him? We need to go to the police. Well, they will help. 
I mean, it's not like he hadn't done it before, is it? Faye, we are going to find him. I'm not even talking to you. Look, he trusted you, both of you. Well, we only did what we thought was best. Yeah, and now Mum's in prison and Seb's gone missing. Faye, whatever you say, you can't make me feel any worse than I already do, all right? Your dad's right, Seb's smart. He's probably just gone to ground. So if you do us a favour and take Faye to the cafe, get her something to eat with her. Don't tell me what to do. You need to eat. Now go. Come on, I'm starving. <sighs> So were you mug then, or what? It's a long story. So where have you looked for him exactly? Oh, I've been to his house, face phoned all his mates. You don't think this could be feeling, do you? I mean, if he thinks the lad could finger him for Luke's murder... Then who knows what he'd do. But listen, not a word of any of this to Faye, all right? I'll chat with that lad that he stayed with that first day after court. And then I'll try and get hold of Nicola. But first, I've got to go and see Mum. Is that all right? So what would they do with him? Just give her a pill and that's it? To induce the labour, yeah. Jackie reckons they'll keep her in overnight, cos... ..apparently it can take a while for the baby. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't bite my head off. I know you're sick of me banging on, but... ..do you not think you should tell Peter? Hey, you shouldn't be going through this on your own. It's his baby too. I'm fine. Well, you're not, are you? But even if you were, do you not think you should go through this together, eh? I mean, you've lost a baby, you both need to grieve. <clears throat> hey, any more tea? Yes, yeah. Great. They were just uh, playing these Leonard Cohen tracks on the radio. Oh, is that that dead depressing bloke? My mum used to love him. Yeah, anyway, he sang this song, Suzanne, and I thought it might be a nice name for the baby, you know, sort of after my sister. Oh. To be honest, because my first thought was Susie. Hmm. No? You're not keen? Thanks. No, 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 I, ju I just hadn't thought. Oh, <laughs> OK, we'll have a think. Hmm. Right, uh, I want to try and finish the attic hmm. before Si and Leanne get back, so are you OK to hold the fort? Oh, um, I'm going into town to uh, meet Stacey for a coffee. You remember my mate from the vegan group? Yeah, OK. Yeah. But um, that's OK, um, Eva can cover, can't you? Great, thanks. Right, well, have fun. Oh, yeah. He's picking up baby names. I know you're right. I mean, it's his baby and he deserves to know. Of course he does, but... I can't. I want to, but I, I just can't. What about Channings? Well, I've got new supplies. Do you want me to give him a go? Sorry. Sorry. Listen, you're gonna turn this around. Do you reckon? Yeah, no question. So why don't you go and finish getting that roof sorted? Cheers. Steve, have you ever heard the expression taking calls to Newcastle? Well, I was thinking, you know, that it might be a bit of a win-win. Oh, really? Why? The thought occurred to me that nobody has probably ever bought Tracy flowers because she won't want them. Well, she doesn't. Because, you know, she owns a florist. But then I thought not only would you get flowers if you're very young, but you'd also get money. Because I bought them from your shop. Oh, nice try. Happy birthday. How old are you? Yeah, I don't think we want to go there, do we, Liz? Nice flowers. Oh, thank you. You bought her flowers. Have you ever heard the expression, taking calls to Newcastle? Thank you. Yes, thank you, Mother. Have you ever heard the expression, it's the thought that can? Yeah. Here's a little nugget for you, Steve. That expression was made up by a fella who was too lazy or too tight to buy out decent. Hmm. Good job, Dan. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. What is it? Steve? Paris? Flights, everything? You've got to be kidding me. Um, you could, uh, have a little madam, couldn't you? Wait, does this mean that I'm getting the phone that I want for my birthday? No, it does not. But that's not fair. Don't worry, babe. Hey, I'll bring you something back from Duty Free. Nothing wrong with that phone, anyway. Oh, come here. Paris! <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour, ça va? Ah, hello. Poor Elliot. She's just hurting, isn't she? 
Like all your nerve endings are exposed above the surface. Yeah, I know that. Oh, Maria, I'm sorry, of course you do. Listen, I've got to go, OK? Right. <sighs> hey, you haven't seen her. Uh... Hey, never mind. Peter! Oh, sorry, uh, and, uh, ham on brown, please. OK. It's so lonely being the ex-agent. It's like I'm not allowed to grieve. It was all new for Alia and Luke. She hadn't had time to be disappointed. That don't matter. Never mattered to me. It's just so hard when you lose someone so suddenly. Chance to see. Hey. So, what could have happened to them for all we know? I hate not being able to be in touch. <sighs> you take your painkillers? Yeah, I would, but I have to make yours. Oh, Billy! Half an hour into the journey, it was too late to go back. Well, how are you going to manage? I've got one in my wallet. Well, take one. No, I will. Later. It's just we'll stop off at an A&E or a health centre or something, it'll be fine. Fine? How is it going to be fine? You and Todd running away from the police. I told you. Only until we work out what we're going to do. And that little girl, Lord knows, needs some security and stability. We'll be back. Eileen, I promise. Me, Todd and Summer will be back. She needs a family and you need your son. Hi. Sweetheart. Oh. Oh, I've missed you. Where's Todd? Is he, is he in the car? Somewhere? Where is he? He's not coming. So, a pack of 16, OK? Yeah, if that's what you got. Cool. You want caplets, capsules, tablets or dissolvables? I flame in love with Tommy Orpington. Well, who doesn't? No, I seriously love him. Mm. I've just sent him a new hat, right? Mm. Oh, sorry, cos ages ago, Tim gave him a hat that I gave him and Tommy took a photo of it and he put it on Instagram, right? Yeah. You never guess what. what? He's only gone and done it again! <laughs> Hey, listen, babe, don't forget you've got to get to the pharmacy. Yes, I'm on it. The kids have got a dentist appointment I'm straight on after. It. It. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll uh, take four packets, please. Oh, well, that's some headache. Oh, you know what it's like, morning after night before. I most certainly do. But listen, there's, uh, there's actually a limit of what I can say you're going to have to make do a two. Okay, it's the law, it's to stop people from doing anything stupid. Yeah, of course. Three quid. Cheers. So, um, how's things with Eva? I do good. Cheers. Excellent. You are a lucky man. I sure am. Cheers, Dev. Take care. Bye -bye. <laughs> Before you try to knock that fig on the head. Yeah, I was. Too stressful living with you. Shouldn't be getting back to school. Oh, for goodness sake, cheer up, Amy. Hey, and if you give in to it on this phone malarkey, you're going to make a rod for your own back. Do not worry. I will not be forking out £500 for a new mobile phone. See you, sweetheart. I love you. Oh, no! What happened? Whoops. Don't give me whoops. You well did that on purpose. If you're thinking of trying to pull the fast one, you can think again, lady. Oh, you're not back yet. Uh, no, sorry. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, um, Aiden was just supposed to pop in for a chat. Aiden, I've just seen. Oh right, where? With Maria, all over each other. But you're not bothered. I mean, you with Adam, right? Yeah. yeah. Do I look bothered? Is it the same again, love? I just think it's rude. That's all. Street. Because of your gran? He drove us to this little town by the sea and he put us into a BMB. It was horrible, but Todd said we didn't have much money. 
He told me it was my dad. So you were waiting outside for Todd, and then what happened? The police came, and I heard they found Todd, and they brought him out. And I heard him say that he didn't know why it was, and that they'd got it wrong. But I didn't know what to do. Sweetheart, it's OK. I know he didn't want him to find me, so I just stayed hidden. I can't believe he'd leave her like that. We had a plan. He said if anything happened, I should come and find you. He said Billy would know what to do. I wanted to help him, but I didn't know how. So he's been arrested? When they didn't find me inside, they started looking outside, and Mum was headed straight for me. I could see Todd panicking. So before he got in the car, he punched one of them. Oh, no. I think it was to distract them. He ran, and one of them tried to grab him. So what happened then? Where is he now? I don't know. The police car chased him, but he ran into some wood, and that's the last time I saw him. So, what happened to the policeman that he hit? I don't know. He didn't move. And now he's in trouble because of me. Oh, none of this is your fault. And he's dead sorry for running away at Christmas. And he thought that you were having a breakdown and Granny Jardine would use it against you to get me back. Honestly, kill him. He was just doing what he thought was best. He said if I came back, I'd be taken off you. I didn't know you'd been hurt so badly. I'm fine. It's Todd I'm worried about. Sorry, I'm really, really sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh. Hey. oh, Bethany, just listen. No one touches me, no one hassles me. I'd be in more danger on a night out in town, and anyway, most of the men are married or about to be, so why would they cause trouble in a lap dancing club? So dancing half naked for men is okay. Mum, is you're not helping. No, I'm not the one you should be shouting I'm at. I'm not shouting at you. I'm just saying, unless you've got something constructive to say. A constructive? How am I meant to be constructive about my granddaughter exposing herself to anyone with the money to pay for it? Well, I'm going with you like it. No, not. you're not. You need to back off. Oh, well, I did that once before. Do you remember? Because you didn't want me upsetting Nathan. Yeah, look where that got you. What happened to you? Not now, Kev. Should have been there for your mum, you know. Yeah, well, right back at you. Have you spoke to her? No, they won't let me. A solicitor said I'd get a message to her, but... Strong, your mum. She'll get through this. Yeah, well, let's hope so. It's not about being sat at home worrying, is there? Anything? Well, no, I think she's better off going to school, taking her mind off Seb. Look, I don't want to take my mind off him. You don't get it, do you? Anything could have happened to him. Faye, Faye, listen to me. I know I'll let you down, OK? Not just me. Believe me, if I could have been there, I would have. But look at me. Look at me. You, Mum and Jake are everything to me. And I promise you that nothing is going to happen to Seb, OK? Come here. Let's get you to school. Just uh, stick them on the side, Dale. Tell them when he comes back. I just need to get one back myself, Pat. It's a uh, reference book from the office. I thought Billy might know what it is. Well, listen, you're going to have to come back later, mate. It's just it's uh, pretty urgent. You need it for a case, you know? Yeah. I've got to go. You have a little look around. Don't forget to close the door when you leave. Yeah, of course. Cheers. If only I could so. <laughs> hey, but you know what they say, if you want a job doing, give it to a busy woman. Well, bring it on. The busier, the better, I say. <laughs> you know what? Good for you. <laughs> hey, I hope that caffeine does the trick. Well, I have to have something to keep me going through the night. No offence to Dev. <laughs> <laughs> See you. <laughs> See you later, love. Eva. So are you and her back on, then, or what? Who? Maria. Yes, Maria. Apparently, we're all over each other. Why do you care? You're with Adam. Yeah. Yeah, I am. So that's what we needed to talk about? No! Do you know I don't matter? Hey, don't play that. Eva! 
I am so sorry. I don't know what happened. Oh, are you hurt? Let me carry on over to the bed. No, I just want to go home. It's okay, I've got this. I'm sorry, Eva. I called the hospital earlier, but they said that you'd gone. Are you sure you're okay? Which part of my life are you talking about? I'm so sorry about your mum. Honestly, I could kill Bethany like you ain't got enough on your plate. You know, that's what I came around to say, that you don't have to worry. I'm not going to let on that she had out to do with it. That's more than she deserves. Just like you were more than I deserved. I saw you, um, earlier with Faye. She adores you. Well, I'm glad someone does. I'm sorry. Sorry. You've got every right to hate me, haven't you? I don't hate you. Never hate you. It's just like everything I touch goes wrong. Everyone I care about, they get hurt and I can't fix it. Mum, Faye, Bethany, and you. I can't fix any of it. I just. No. <laughs> Matter if he's being an idiot, you should have told him about the. I pain. know. All oh, right. Well, I thought that. I decided this morning. I thought, all right, come on, Eva, be a grown up. He's the kid's dad. He has a right to know. The thought of doing the whole shared parenting thing with him, especially if that cow Marie is back on the scene. No, thank you. You're pregnant. <laughs> And Coronation Street continues in half an hour. <laughs>